Welcome to the Staples Center. I'm Bob Steele, along with me, my partner, Rod West. Let's go straight to courtside and hook up with the PA for the player introductions. The Spurs have it, and we are underway. Back down. It's hit loose. Duncan steps on the line. Cut, cut. Fisher gets a play from the bench. They feed the post. Thank Bryant you. from medium range. Wide nice open, shot. Bob. That's a gimme. Johnson stands back and calls the play. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Robinson with the drop step. Loose ball. Oh, nice steal. Look out! Bryant with the dunk. They lead by a nickel. They're up five. Johnson at the controls, he's setting up the offense. Tonight's NBA matchup on the Sega Sports Network comes to you from the city of brotherly love. We're at the First Union Center in Philadelphia, PA. Hello, everybody. I'm Bob Steele, and with me is Rod West, and thanks for tuning in. Without further hesitation, let's go courtside for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineups. At the guard position, Mark Jackson. Also at guard, Vince Carter. And now the starting lineup for your Philadelphia 76ers. At guard, in his sixth year. Out of Michigan State, standing six feet three, number 20, Eric Snow. At the other guard position, in his fifth year, from Georgetown, standing six one, number three, Allen Iverson. The Raptors will start with the ball. It's passed inside with the rim rattler. Basket is good. See, now that looked cool. No reason you can't add a little style with your substance. One point separating the teams. He's yours. He's it's blocked. Him. Serves up a facial right there. That's how you send a message to the offense. Second Iverson team almost gets it to fall, first, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Two shot clock. He can't get the first. He ties it up. Oakley inbounds the ball. We've got a tie ball game here. Fires. Carter misses the tray. They pass it underneath. Tonight's NBA matchup comes to you from L.A., California. We're at the Staples Center. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Bob Steele, and with me as always is Rod West, right here on the Sega Sports Network. Sixers control the opening tip, and Rod, everyone knows about Allen Iverson and the offense he can create. Now, you're going to see that shot go in most of the time. Big break for the ISO, defense. ISO. With the jumper! A simple but effective pump fake gets him enough room to bury the J. That's a clever move. I figured you'd like this play, Rod. He just nails the shot after shaking his man loose with a nice pump fake. You figured me right, Bob. Call me old-fashioned, but a simple, effective move to get to the bucket? Who can't bug that? 
We've got a four-point ball game. That's can't it. stop the run. O'Neal. Is that enough? Can't finish the alley-oop. Nice shot. And you can see these guys taking control from the get-go. But there's still a lot of basketball left. Here comes the double team. Iverson connects on this one and stops the run. He set himself up on that one by going with the crossover. Everybody expects moves like that from him, but that doesn't mean they're any easier to stop. The Lakers with a nine-point advantage and the ball. No Fox problem. Misses the jump shot. That's a pretty tough matchup. Welcome, everybody. We're here at the Target Center in Minnesota. I'm Bob Steele, along with Rod West. Glad to have you with us. Take a look at the starting lineups. What do you like out there, Rod? Terrell Brandon comes in at over 90% at the free throw line. And, Bob, if this game is close at the end, his free throw shooting could have a major impact. The t will get the opening tip. Inside pass, deflected, and it's loose inside. Oh, great play. See, he was right where he had to be to take that play down. Position is so important when you're blocking a shot. Amazing play, Rod. Let's check it out in the replay. Wallace comes clean right off that pick, and it was pretty simple after that. Offense just doesn't get any more basic than that, but it works. Nesterovich throws it in. The T will bring it up. They're shooting 25% from the floor. Passes. Screen coming. Watch out inside. Serbiak passes. Motion 15. Seven on the shot Watch clock. Out. Into the low post. Fades away inside. Gets the far iron, but it goes in. Man, he is just in his element inside. What a player. Heat, Cavs, straight ahead. Welcome to ESPN Basketball here at the Gund Arena in Cleveland. I'm Bob Fitzgerald along with the tall guy, Tom Tolbert. We're going to take a second to look at the starting lineups, but Tommy, what I really want to know is who are the two key players out there? Fitz, here's the first guy that deserves attention. Ricky Davis is known for the Showtime jams. You can bet it won't take long before he gets the crowds off their seats and reaching for their cameras. On the other side, you've got a ball hawk. Karan Butler is a pest on defense. If he can be his usual disruptive self, they've got a great chance in this one. Thanks, Tommy. Time to jump it up and let's get going. The Heat get the tip and we're underway. And the Heat bring it up. Wade goes glass. Denies it, ripped down inside by Ogaskis. He certainly can't let this one go by without taking another look. Just under four minutes here in the first quarter. To Jones. Odom has position down low. Odom raises up, doesn't get it all the way there. Cavaliers, Kings, it's about to be a showdown. Welcome everyone to the NBA preseason here at Arco Arena in Sacramento. The Sacramento Kings will face off against the visiting Cavaliers here on ESPN. Hi there, along with Michelle Tafoy and Bill Walton, I'm Bob Fitzgerald. Bill, as we take a look at both teams, what do you think will be the keys to victory? Bob, well, basketball is definitely a team game, but you can't win it all without great players. Chris Webber is unquestionably a first-rate power forward. I just love to watch him play. He is such an impressive scorer down low. Once he gets it in the post, he cannot be denied. On the other side is another impact player.
LeBron James is a supremely talented player. He's taller than your prototypical shooting guard, but his athleticism, his mobility, his agility, and mostly his skill allows him to work very well at that position. Thanks, Bill. And without further ado, it looks like they're getting set up for the tip-off. The Kings get the tip and we're underway. Swings it to Weber. Shoots it. Rebounded inside by Gooden. Brad Miller fired up a prayer. You knew the moment he released it. He had no chance whatsoever. Jams it in. That's more an aggressive dunk. It looked like he may have been trying to send a message that time. The Cavaliers work it up court and they lead 6-2. Miller inbounds to Bibby. The Kings advance it and they trail eight to five. Pass to Stojakovic, launches beyond the arc. Nice rebound by the third year man out of Kansas. Passes to James. James was pummeled and he'll have an opportunity to get the two points at the line. And it's good. He gets them both. The Kings work it up court. They're shooting 25% from deep. Welcome, sports fans. The stage is set here in L.A. The visiting Miami Heat will spur off against the Lakers here on the 2K6 Sports Network. Good evening, everyone. Here with Kenny Smith, Craig Sager, I'm Kevin Hart. Kevin, the crowd is fired up and ready to go, and I am too. There's nothing better than NBA basketball. Now as we get set for the game to begin, let's take a look at the Toyota key matchup of the game. Kenny, Kevin, the story here is the matchup at the two-guard spot. Bryant is an immense talent and certainly one of the elite players in the NBA. With his unreal speed and quickness, he possesses an extra gear that allow him to make amazing plays. He'll have his hands full, though. Wade is definitely in the upper echelon among shooting guards in the NBA. He elevates like few others can, and I won't be surprised to see him hammer down a monster jam before this game is through. And now a quick look at the starting lineups as we get set for the tip-off. The Lakers do a great job of controlling the defensive glass. The Heat have some solid low post defenders who can lock you down in the paint. All right, Kenny, we're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. The Heat take the tip off and will set up the offense. Inbound pass to Williams. Let's send it down to Craig Sager. Well, guys, I had a chance to talk with Phil Jackson, coach of the Lakers. I asked him what would be their game plan. He said, we're going to get after it defensively like always and let the chips fall where they may. Guys, they can do it too, creating turnovers, shutting down shooters, and basically wrecking havoc out there. Thanks, Craig. Just over five minutes left in the first. Dishes it to Mim. Mim pump fakes. Book that post shot by Mim. It's a two point differential. The pass to Walker. O'Neal tries to back down. Passes to Walker. Dish down low. Thrown down by Shaq. Welcome to this NBA exhibition matchup here in Phoenix. The visiting San Antonio Spurs will face off against the Suns. Greetings, I'm Kevin Harlan here with Kenny Smith. Craig Sager is our sideline reporter. And without further ado, it looks like they're setting up for the tip-off.
The Spurs get the tip and we're underway. Passes it to the outside. Dishes it to Manu. Duncan gets it out left. Ferocious swat. And they call foul. And he makes the first one. Gets them both. Stoudemire inbounds the ball. Get the pass to Marion. Skip pass out left. Marion releases. No good from 11 feet. And it's a four point game. Marion is too good to be missing those kind of inside shots. He's a tough competitor. Watch him come back strong the next possession. To Duncan. Takes flight with authority. Oh my goodness, that's absurd. That was a fantastic jam. About three and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Welcome, sports fans. The stage is set here in Seattle. The visiting Los Angeles Lakers will face off against the Sonics. I'm Kevin Harlan here with Kenny Smith. Craig Sager is our sideline reporter. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. And without further ado, it looks like they're setting up for the tip-off. Dishes it to the perimeter. To Wilcox. Shoots it. Walt pulls it in. Walt wasn't paying attention. Stepped in the line, and that's a turnover. It's like this. If you want to stay on the court, then stay on the court. Those lines aren't hard to see. Well, Craig, they're in for a battle, but I've seen enough games to know you can't write any team off in this league. Durant. Durant snatches it inside. The D knows he's a real threat from down there, and they left him no room to operate. That's nice work. Swings it to Fisher. Has it right wing. Nice shot missed by Bryant. Was all over him with stifling deep. That's his M.O. No easy buckets. Odom passes it to the outside. To Kobe. Goes up. He gets hammered and he'll head to the line. And Kenny, you think of the Los Angeles Lakers and Kobe Bryant is at the tip of your tongue. Uh, how long will he stay patient with how this team is playing? I mean, it's usually been poor. Well, he's playing along for now. But Kobe is one of the most competitive people you'll ever see. They better get this team headed in the right direction because he won't be satisfied with mediocrity. He misses them both. Walt backs him down. The last layup, no good. 47 seconds left in the first. Walton is shaking his head on that one. I don't think he can believe it either. He's gone from winning a national championship at Syracuse to an NBA All-Star. Carmelo Anthony on the floor and about ready to get this game rolling. And Carmelo is as sweet as it comes offensively. Can post you up with force, can take you off the dribble, and can splash threes in your face. He's as high octane offensively as it gets. Along with Clark Kellogg, Kevin Harlan here. Cheryl Miller will join us in a bit. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. And without further ado, it looks like they're setting up for the tip-off. The Nuggets take the tip off and will set up the offense. Carter hands it off. 
AI hands it off to Carter. Lead pass down low. The game's first basket was off the shot by Carmelo. 2.21 left in the first. The skip pass to Beasley. Lobbed to the elbow. To Marion. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. Here's Iverson. Finishes with the soft touch. Iverson, just by being on the floor, creates so many scoring opportunities for his club because he's a threat himself. The talented Oklahoma City Thunder versus the heavyweight Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a Wednesday showdown here on 2K Sports. Welcome to Quicken Loans Arena. We're in downtown Cleveland, the home of the Cavaliers, where we're going to be broadcasting today's action live. Good evening, everyone. It's good to have you here at 2K Sports on this Wednesday. Tip-off moments away, and T-Mobile presents the starting lineups. Let's take a moment now for the Sprite ice-cold keys to the game. Clark, let's take a look at the Thunder for just a second. What's the key for them? Well, Kevin, I think it starts with making the most of every possession. They led the league in turnovers last season, and Kevin, that was their Achilles heel. It's something they've tried to address in the offseason. We'll see if they can avoid miscues and protect the rock. And Clark, what about Cleveland? What do you think will be the key for them? Well, it all starts with LeBron James, a stat sheet stuffer. He's doing everything, and he's doing it all at a very high level, Kevin. Doing it all. I like what you said. He can score any way. I mean, long, short, drive. He does it all. I think the greatest strength of his game is his ability to get points in the paint. He shoots a high percentage because he takes the ball to the rim. James with it. Shaq backs down. Easy look in the paint. The defense got abused there. Here's Westbrook. Here's Dur oh! Oh! Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfectly. And when he's focused and attentive and aggressive, he can make shots from the three-point line. He can make plays for other people. He's a solid rebounder and defender and a pretty good passer. So I'd like to see him do this more often, take charge, and show everybody what he's got in his package. Contact certainly altered that shot. The official was right on top of it. He knocks down the first one. He gets them both. Here's Westbrook. as the road team for today's Western Conference matchup. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg, our analyst. We're proud to bring you the NBA here on 2K Sports. And now the Golden State Warriors started. Darrell Wright and David Lee are the forwards. Monte and Curry in the backcourt. And Bia Drench. And for the Lakers, Fisher and Kobe man the backcourt. Powell and Bynum filling up the middle. And our test. Something of a domination last season. You look back and the Lakers just took it to the rest of the Pacific Division in every way. No doubt about it. I mean, they were the cream of the crop out west. And it all starts with how they handled their divisional play. Again, mindset, consistency of attitude and effort. And when you do that, the win find a way of piling up for you. Now here's Bia Drench. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Phil Jackson. And Doris, what'd you find out? Well, guys, he heaped praise on his team's defensive abilities, saying he had every reason today to expect that they could handle whatever they might see from the opposing offense. It must be nice for a coach to have that kind of faith in the team's defensive abilities. Guys? Thanks, Doris. So defense is the key early on. You know, it's not surprising, Kevin, when you think about the great team. So much of their game planning really starts at the defensive end of the floor. 
I'm thinking Clark about the Pacific last year 13 wins for them and really only the Suns were the only team to get into the postseason along with the Lakers. Well I guess if you're looking for a silver lining for the rest of the division it's that they all were able to get pretty good draft picks all in the lottery so it wasn't completely lost in regards to the season still handed to the Lakers. You've got to give them credit and an awful lot of respect because um, they just ran over the rest of the division. Here's Ellis. Hello and welcome everyone to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And Torres Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. And State Farm's starting lineup. These are the 10 players starting the game. First for the match, Nelson and Reddick are the guards. And it's Dwight Howard locking down the middle. He's a superstar, no doubt. And what a huge boost for this team. Night in and night out. And it's Hito Jerkalu and it's Anderson in at the four-man position. And for the Clippers, Chris Paul is out there with four. And the big man manning the post, DeAndre Jordan. They utilize his abilities to maintain that presence under the rim. And it's Karan Buck and it's Griffin in at the power forward. Well, the Clippers made so much improvement last year, but one area they struggled, they only went 13 and 17 against the weaker Eastern Conference. So that's a number they'd like to improve upon this year. Off goes to the Clippers. Griffin kicks to Paul. I'm open right here. Back to Griffin. Working on Anderson. Pocket six. The jump hook. And Griffin puts it in. Griffin's got his first points of the game. Here's Orlando now. It's a five point game. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Stan Van Gundy had a moment to share with me. He knows they're up against a team that plays best when they're getting to the rim. He told me that their number one concern is going to be sliding over to help on any drives and closing up any lanes to the hoop as quickly as possible. Good rotation is key, guys. All right, Doris, thanks. Let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And joining us a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burke. And a quick look here before we tip off at the State Farm starting lineups. First for the Lakers, a star-studded backcourt of Nash and Kobe. And it's center the most dominant physical presence in the NBA, the elite defensive big man Dwight Howard. Then there's World Peace, and it's Gasol and at the four. And for the Knicks, Belton is out there with Ronnie Brewer. And in the middle, the 2012 Defensive Player of the Year, seven foot one rebounder, shot blocker, and leader, Tyson Chandler. Then it's Anthony. And it's Stoudemire in at the four slot. And I think, guys, we'll never stop talking about that Knicks trade with Denver for Carmelo Anthony. It was such a fascinating deal. Everyone thought the Knicks probably made out the best getting Carmelo but you look at Denver the pieces they were able to add and that's a that's a pretty intriguing deal really for both teams so the Lakers win the tip Nash kicks to Gasol Outside world peace. Covered by Anthony. From 11 feet away, here's Gasol, and he finishes nicely on the way. Well, you're not going to get a more high quality look than that. Terrific offensive rebound there. 
Rarely does a deal actually work out, you know, Steve, for both sides, but both the Knicks and the Nuggets made the postseason last year, and both teams, I think, Clark, uh, certainly got what they wanted. Yeah, and we're still in the early stages of Melo's career, Kevin. Certainly as it relates to him with being with the Knicks. So he could ultimately become that player they're looking for as far as a leader goes. Let's see how it plays out going forward. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Mike Brown. And uh, what'd you find out, guys? They'll have their hands full with the Knicks in this one. And I asked him how he planned on playing. Anthony. He told me they have Knicks some big names. Mello, Kid, Amare, the list goes on. I think we can beat them with our depth, though. But deeper into the trenches, each team. Lovely night here in San Francisco. The San Francisco Bay Area, our venue, the Oracle Arena in Oakland, California, our scene. And welcome everyone to another presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. A contest between conferences, Oracle Arena, Oakland, California, where the Warriors take their home floor. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And guys, what do you think we'll be seeing from Stephen Curry in this one? Well, we all know that Curry is a tremendous shooter, just like his father. Quick release, pinpoint accuracy, deep range. But what I like about Curry is his passing ability. Such a good playmaker and tremendous court vision. And the thing I like, Steve, is Steph not just a spot-up shooter. He can create his own shot off the dribble. And he makes tough shots on the move. You know, it's always a challenge and a race to get into the playoffs in the West, and the Golden State Warriors were able to do it in large part because they went 19 and 11 against the Eastern Conference last season. And every win was huge as they secured the sixth seed in the West. Played with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. Played against Curry. Chalmers dishes to Wade. Pocket six. That's good, and so Chalmers with the assist. Wade's got the first points up on the board for Miami. And getting back to the Warriors against the East, they ended up going 500 or better against every division, Steve, in the conference. Well, they were consistent, no question. And a big part of that was their defense improved so much and their rebounding. That's something that Mark Jackson really emphasized this past season, and it paid off in a big way. Golden State really became a very consistent club. Count the bucket. And the layup just gift-wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. And it's the Warriors' ball. We have the Clippers as the road team for today's Western Conference matchup. It's getting noisy here in Oklahoma City. We're at the peak, the Chesapeake Energy Arena, home of the Thunder. Great to have you with us, everybody, live on 2K Sports alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got, Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. CP3 at point with Reddick there, the backcourt. And it's Barnes in at the small forward position. Or three, Westbrook can't hit. Now the Thunder with it. Durant with it. He's picked up by Jordan. An easy layup after coming off the pit. I'll tell you what, he is so difficult to guard, especially on a shot like that one. So it's the Clippers now. Paul outside. Over in the corner, Barnes. Jordan trying to free himself up, and that one's good, Barnes. Barnes has got his first three points of the game. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. Will 
will see the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Thanks for joining us as we get set to bring you NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. Boys, nice night. And it's the Cavaliers to start out. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So on the floor for Cleveland. LeBron and Love are the talented pair at the forward position. Tell you what, boy, it's hard to watch when the guy gets good shots and misses them. He's missed everything this quarter. No good from LeBron. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Last year, the Lakers did have some firepower off the bench. A lot of players would see their roles shift during the year, as you might expect for a team trying to find the right combination. Yeah, they were also near the top in the league in bench minutes played. So whether you start or come off the bench last year in L.A., you'll see plenty of action. Here's James following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Here's Love. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. That's seven points for Kevin Love. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given him. He's been a key contributor for them in this sport. Bryant dishes to Hibbert. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. And it's time for NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge is joining us from the sideline. The Cleveland Cavaliers come into this one following a loss to Chicago. And that result was no surprise because they played very loosely with the basketball. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. They have no one to blame but themselves in losing that one. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough time to hear from our good friend David Aldridge on the sideline. D.A., take it away. And both of these teams, Steve, have the ability to just pour it in. This could be one of the highest scoring games of the entire season. Yeah, who needs defense, Kevin? Both <laughs> these teams just get up and light it up, and that's the one thing is whoever shoots the higher percentage will win. You're buckled in? I'm harnessed yeah, I'm in right ready now. To go. I am too. Ready I am to go. I can see you are. So Cleveland will get the first possession. Now Golden State's starting five. He adds the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. Duran is out there with Green, and it's Pachulia in its center. Now here's Irving. 11 feet away, and LeBron with the basket, the assist by Irving. James has got the first points up on the board here for the Cavs. Curry kicks to Green. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Can't get the tip in. James dishes to Irving. Thompson a screen on Kirk. Irving from long range. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. A tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. Yeah, they were in a funk from the field in that game. Credit the defense, though, because even when they got open looks, no rhythm to knock them down. They never let them get into any sort of comfort zone. And because of that, they were out of sorts.